moving the stars, turning the Big Dipper, and the great elephant raises its trunk. So what we do is make a beak position with one hand and that's all the fingers come together. That goes to the base of the spine to encourage the chi to rise up the spine. And the other hand is gonna sweep big motions in the sky. So three big circles, turning the heavens with your upper hand, sweeping the energy. And you're gonna inhale it down into your heart. Three times, inhale down. Pull that energy down into your heart. Then we're gonna circulate three times from the horizon, inhaling into the heart. Three circles going down. You make a beak position with the hand down at the bottom. And you slowly inhale rising up to the heart. Now you have a beak position with this hand, only you're gonna turn and look through the hole. You're looking through the hole in the Big Dipper. Inhale back, look through that hole, exhale forward. Collapse the chest, expand the chest as you inhale, looking through the hole in the Big Dipper. Now we're gonna do the same with the other hand. This hand becomes the beak, goes to the base of the spine. This hand is gonna Sweep out big circles of energy from the sky. Three circles. Inhaling down into the heart three times. Drawing the precious sword. In this move, one hand becomes a sword and the other the sheath. So this is the sword hand. It comes into the sheath and you step out as they separate and the energy goes down the leg in this case, the back leg. Other side, sword goes into the sheath, sword comes out of the sheath, energy goes down that back leg. Inhale, sword goes into the sheath, exhale, comes out. Again, other side. Moving the mountain and pouring out the sea. We're gonna gather energy from our leg and inhale up. It's gonna come up through the torso, out the top of the body, out the hands to the side. Again, inhale, pull energy up from one leg. Comes through the whole body, out to the side. And you pivot and go back, straight back. Other leg, pull up from the leg through the body out to the side, inhale up from the leg, out to the top of the head, pivot, go back as far as you can. Striking to the four directions. We'll make a fist with one hand, cover it with the other, and we're gonna bend your legs, and the punch originates in the feet comes up through the waist and out through the hand. Other side, notice that the punching hand is twisting also. It starts out upside down, facing up, and ends up twisting. That's where the power comes from the punch and also from the legs. I'm gonna bend your legs. It's coming from the legs and out through the arm. The tiger gathers its energy and crouches. After all that punching and stimulating heart energy, we want to calm the heart and uh, do this move, which does that. Put your hands together, go out from the heart, put the backs of the hands together, turn them over, all the fingers come together. Put the backs of the hands together. Turn them over. All the fingers come together. Squeeze back behind you. Clasp your hands. The white crane looks at the fish in the pond. I'm gonna break this move, which is 
Maybe the most difficult move in the whole series down into some easy forms. Start by just coming up on your toe and try to balance this way. If you can balance that way, go ahead and lift the foot off the ground. And if you can, bring it all the way up to parallel. Just work on that. If you cannot get up to parallel, just slowly build your balance to that point. The next part of the move, you drop your hands and you drop the leg behind you. This is the beginning part of it. So if this is challenging, just stick with this. If you can keep going, raise that foot up little by little until it's all the way parallel to the floor and you can hold it for a few seconds. My hands are pointing up like beaks and then come forward. The great dragon flies throughout the blue sky. This is the last dynamic move of the series. Your hands come up like this in light fists, like dragon claws. Rotate them as they come down. Hands rotate up, hands rotate down. And make five big circles. We're creating a vortex of energy with these circles. Notice that I'm using my legs and whole body to get this circle going. And on the last one, you pull into your lower abdomen with your hands and you're storing energy, pulling the energy from the vortex that you just created into your lower abdomen. 